I think I'm going over the face of having numbers anywhere. I had that face, guys, a couple of months ago. Do you remember when I was putting numbers everywhere? I think I'm fine now. I think it's, I'm detoxed from that face. <laughs> Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all well safe, survived the storm, oh god, and had a wonderful weekend. So today we are going to be playing with some buster boards. So sometime I read comments on Facebook groups and sometime on my Facebook group as well that a lot of you guys don't know what a master board is. Master board is simply collages of images that you guys put together there are no rules there are tips and tricks but again there is not sort of regulation or anything that, that you need to follow when you create this collage i this does too i'm going to show you in just a second i simply used um i've got a box of scrap if you follow me you know this one so this is was normally full full of scraps and i was sick and tired <laughs> to open it and I was like, oh God, what can I do? What can I do? So the idea was to create um, a master board and play and have a lot of play. Now, I was waiting for my tram just before the weekend. In fact, it was like Wednesday or Thursday, I think last week. Um, and I was on uh, eBay, as you do. And I managed to get this wonderful new toy. It's a wooden clam stamp from Team Holes. This is the collect 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 tide collect you know better than i do um it's basically a gorgeous gorgeous um damask motive and it's huge it's the same size as my hand so don't ask me where you can find it because i found mine on ebay for five pound including shipping five pound that was a bargain so it's five inches by six and a half so I could not resist a bargain. So I thought, yes. And what can we do? We're going to use a master board and we're going to print this. But I want my master board to be very, right, not mixed media in a way that I'm going to put fabrics and, you know, beads or anything. I don't want this to be a 3D, but I want to have a lot, a lot of different layers now. Because I know myself, I'm going to take my hoodies off. Okay. So I'm just there with my T-shirt. So, what I did, guys, I got two of these uh, 12 by 12 paper from my paper pad that I don't use. And I don't know what you can see. You can probably see the backdrop is this pink here and there. And what I simply do, I literally, guys, without thinking it too much, I glued my scraps on top of it. So I had these flowers that, as you can see, when I punched, they were off cut. So, and I didn't want to bind them. So I thought, well, we'll use them somewhere else. And off you go. So I literally create this page here, which is mostly blue, green, and pink. And when you do collage sheets, I recommend to pick two, three colors. I mean, you can do the colors on the rainbow. You can do anything that you want. I trying to pick a couple of colours and stick to that palette so it's all kind of like blends together. In this one, I don't know if you can see, so the background, the actual, the paper is this dotty pink here. And what I did again, I use blue, pink and a bit of purple and covered it up. And as you know me, I love butterflies and I love floral. So I use literally bits and pieces from all different papers that I had and created those two master board. So what I want to do, I want to, now my only concern is that, which I should have thought about that, but never mind, I think it's too late. Yeah, oh well. I don't have enough white. This is what I've got left. Ooh, which makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. Mm, very uncomfortable. Um, sorry, put my thinking cap on. Right. Um, it basically, in my head, I wanted to have a really uh, white background, but you can still see 
be able to see these gorgeous textures and, and papers, I think it's going to be way, it's not going to be enough. Right, so let's use some gold. Should we try with gold? So, what am I going to do? Wish me luck. I'm just going to put some this gold. Um, I showed you this before, guys. These, I got them from TK Maxx, which in USA the, is TK, no, TJ Maxx. Um, they actually, it's actually an Italian brand that is not stocked in this country, in UK. So I was really lucky to find them. It's a really good brand. It's called Carioca. Carioca. So I'm trying to find on Amazon and they were charging £68 for shipping. And I was like, what? <laughs> £68? Are you mad? So no way. So, no. Nah, ain't gonna happen, is it? So, yeah, if you guys go to your tk maxx so you find this brand of paint they do all sorts they do like paint um um pencils uh also oil colors all sorts of things so yeah so what and his smell amazing absolutely amazing so what you guys see now with the gold in my head i want it to be white but it is what it is so i think it's still all right i don't want to cover it completely i'm gonna try to put some white in here because all these colors are water-based and what am i gonna do i'm gonna put some red The, all these three colors I'm using at uh, three different um, brands. They're all water-based, so they all work together. Okay, so you can still see him, which I'm not 100% happy about. So what I'm going to do, I've got some scrap paper here. And I'm just going to take some paint off because I still want to see. Oh, look at how gorgeous is that? What is underneath? Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same. So that's the result. Still a bit too dark than what I would have hoped, but you can still see bits. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other one with maybe the gold and we're gonna use some blue instead. And I come back here once the buff nice and dry. Okay, so this is the one with the blue. And it's a shame because I don't know what you guys can see on camera, but it does shine a lot. Yeah, you can probably get the just yeah just a bit of hint but yeah it shine a lot and that's the that's the red one golden red okay so what i wanted to do we're going to get my is the memento is a tuxedo black and then now because this is i can just do that okay and then we go oh it's very big i never ever worked with stamp they are actually this big and then you're just simply going to press it Ooh. now you know i've got this issue with my camera when i do press the camera shake so apologies if you feel that you're on the boat Ooh. look at that so can you see, you can see the damask, but you can also see the background. So what I want to do, I want to create like little clusters. Okay, so what am I going to do? Because it's going to be boring for you to guys see me doing it. So I'm going to stamp it all and cut it into clusters. And I come back with you guys once they're all 
ready to decorate it. And let me show you the basis of what I just cut and I'll show you what I already decorated and excuse the state of my hands. So just going to show you really quickly one by one. Love that. Then it's this one. This is amazing. I, I, I kept the flower because because it was raised, it got the texture and the background didn't. So oh, this is one of my favorite. And it's purely randomness. So everything is going to be so different because it's pure random. So you can control where you stamp. I love this as well. This has got a bit of a section of that flower. This is a big one. So you can even do like tags. So I might use them to make some tags. Oh, look at that. You can see the map on the background. So I'm hoping guys to give you some ideas what you can do with your scraps and create your own master board. And then you can just simply put some paint select a stamp that has got a geometric or anything that you want to use it really you know to build it up so that's the kind of like what i cut and i've got them in here so let me put them they're still dry i put on my windowsill because it's very sunny today so things are taking no time to dry so i've got one more okay so that's the first so i've gone all over with the gold i have used so where is it where did i put them oh there it is so those phrases they've been designed by the lovely michelle flynn michelle um very very active on my facebook group so she emailed me well, last couple of weeks ago, she said, oh, I'll make some words and phrases. Can I share it on the group? I thought, yeah, of course, because everybody can use them. So you can download this on my Facebook group. If you type on files and then if you click on files, it's all the freebies and all different files. So you can just save this on your computer and print it. If you're not on Facebook, drop me your email address um, using my email, contact email. Just send me an email. Just say, oh, Antonio, can you send me the phrases and I'll... Um, and i'll send you it's just a pdf file so it's not very big so you will definitely um go into an email and um, then i think she gave me she made this black one. Oh yes there we are so she made black and those ones as well so thank you thank you michelle for thinking about us and then the butterfly they actually coming from i got this from a charity shop is a butterfly book Ooh. so every page you go butterflies so yes and it smell yummy like a proper vintage book mm, yummy yummy so back to the clusters that's one and they're still drying two this is probably my favorite i'm not great at fussy cutting because well I got big hands and also I'm clumsy, so I can't really do little tiny details things. Then I've got this one here, which is pretty as well. Organized chaos, absolutely. That's me. <laughs> um, perfectly imperfect. I love, can you see all the detail on the background? I love it. That, uh, two more. Dream big. I think I'm going over the face or having numbers anywhere. I had that face, guys, a couple of months ago. Do you remember when I was putting numbers everywhere? I think I'm fine now. I think it's, I'm detoxed from that face. <laughs> I think it's gone. So, yeah, we're safe. We're safe. Um, I think now I'm going to put these phrases everywhere. But, yeah, that's all right. We'll find a cure for that as well. <laughs> Right, that's it, guys. I'm going to go uh, because I'm going to play with this. Oops, with this yummies. So, guys, if you like this video, give me a gold thumbs up. 
because that will support the video and the channel. And I'm hoping that I give you some ideas or things that you can do with your scraps. And don't be scared, guys, to trying to do things with your masterboards because there are no rules. Just get a glue, cut things into pieces, glue it all together, and then play with paint and then chop them off. Okay? Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget to check out my giveaway if you're not already we've got a few more days left till saturday so enter the giveaway if you've not done it already um and it's on youtube and on my facebook group and yeah good luck to everybody have a wonderful week thank you so much for watching guys and until next time stay safe and well